Hi, I'm Ainsley with the Coding Clubhouse, here with... John Nall of Epsion. And what does Epsion do? Epsion is an advisory services company focusing on workforce productivity for field workers. And we also create uh, solutions for architects to visualize their 3D models in real time. What's your job for Epsion? So I'm the uh, founder and CEO, so I'm kind of like the guiding light of the company and, you know, help our customers identify the solutions that uh, can help them improve their productivity, sales, and customer relationships. Are there any other companies in the same field as Epsion? Not many. So what makes us unique in the field is that we don't uh, create our own software, our own hardware. We use the commercially available hardware and software that's out on the market, and we help our customers identify you know, the right ones for their specific use case. But I think at the uh, event today, there might be one competitor. How has your company grown over the past few years? So we grew from a startup a couple years ago of just uh, two guys. We've doubled in size to six. So we've got three in U.S. and three in India. And then we've also, uh, I guess, tripled our capabilities of service offerings for our customers. Where do you hope to see your company go in a few years? So ideally, I would like to see our company become, you know, the I guess the brand name of go-to for augmented reality for you know productivity in the field. What's your target audience? So our target audience is basically facilities management uh, companies that you know operate buildings, uh, commercial bakeries, um, small logistics companies, and of course architects for the visualization. How could this product help developers? What kind of developers? Um, software developers? Yeah, or other developers. Ah, perfect. So software developers, basically I would create work for them. So every project that I do, there's some amount of coding. And anyone who's interested in developing, you know, these new visualizations for augmented and virtual reality is basically, a, you know, a, a growth market for anyone getting into code. How could this be helpful? So the way it's helpful is it basically, you know, is there, there's a safety aspect of it. So if I'm a facilities management personnel and I'm out in the field and I forget how to service something, you know, by wearing these glasses or having the, the information on the tablet, you know, I don't have to remember how to do the procedure. It's going to guide me through step by step. That way I don't make mistakes. I may not get hurt, you know, and I can fix it right the first time. Is there any advice you have for young coders? Yes, young coders should definitely look at... Um, Augmented and virtual realities is like a, you know, an exciting field to get into. If you go into the virtual reality side of it, what's really exciting is that you get to create these like 3D models of like widgets. If it's enterprise like what I work on, you might create completely immersive worlds like video games. And if you target it towards the enterprise, you actually make it useful so that you could do training, you could do safety, you can do simulations or tours. You know, so imagine if I wanted to go tour a plant in Brazil and I don't have time to go there, we could create that plant in virtual and I could go visit it before I got there. And then on the other side where we do augmented reality, you're basically taking the information from systems of record and basically displaying that in the person's field of view, like kind of like a fighter pilot. And the satisfaction you get out of that is you know you basically enrich that person's life because you've improved their safety and ability to work efficiently. What's your price point? You know, it depends on the project, but most projects start are averaging around $25,000. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Thanks for this awesome interview. That's all for me. Thank you.